latest on Hurricane Florence, which is looking interesting in the Atlantic right now. Possibly a bit more of eye wall upheaval on the way. It's still got winds of 140 miles per hour and a pressure of 945 millibars at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, September 11th. The storm is located at 28 degrees north, 68.1 west, and is now a stage six on the CDPS scale. It's notched up another number now catastrophic damage potential from this storm. 663 miles from Cape Hatteras, 689 from Moorhead City, 724 from Wilmington, 751 from Myrtle Beach and 779 from Charleston. The miles keep on ticking down. So we know the hurricane warning that's in effect there and a tropical storm watch also and the hurricane watch in between the two as well all the way along the coast storm surge watches and warnings also in effect right now the warning from south sante river to duck that's the same extent as the hurricane warning this is what the last gfs model run suggests for hurricane florence progressing up towards the northwest arriving along the coast of north carolina on thursday stalling and then hugging the coast by the looks of things maybe even moving inland slightly before coming back out and eventually, as far as I know, towards the southwest. That's according to the GFS, which has been playing tricks like that for quite some time, um, saying things akin to that. And this is why we're concerned about the rainfall estimates from this storm, which could reach, according to the National Hurricane Center, 35 inches in isolated locations. These are the latest sea surface temperatures, 29 degrees Celsius or so, pretty much all the way up until it reaches land. The bad news is if, if, is if Florence stalls just off the coast of North Carolina, it will deliver huge amounts of rain, the wind field will expand, and hurricane force winds will still be felt along the coastline because it's so close to land to begin with. If the storm moved inland more quickly, the wind field would degenerate more quickly, and rainfall amounts would still be quite high, and the landfall area would be hit the worst. It's not really a good situation whichever way we look at it, but this particular model one takes it south towards um, towards South Carolina and maybe even towards Georgia. So these are the percentage chances of tropical storm force winds. 99% in Wilmington, it may as well be 100. 83% in Myrtle Beach, 91 in Cape Hatteras, 58 in Charleston and 61 in Norfolk with varying amounts in between. Even places inland could get tropical storm or even hurricane force winds from this storm if it makes landfall as a significant hurricane as planned or forecasted from the National Hurricane Center. Maybe it won't go to plan, here's hoping. You can see that the uh, expected peak is to come still in the future um, due to a pretty low wind shear. Um, now there is a possibility that Florence could make a run at Category 5 status in the next 24 hours before weakening before landfall. Now it's, it's pretty much assured that the storm will weaken a little bit before landfall and even more if it slows down as it's doing so. However, in recent frames, there's been some dry air entrainment inside the hurricane, and this may be halting its intensification for now. It is still a Category 4 on the Sapphire-Simpson scale. It may drop a category in the next 12 hours, depending on what happens here, but it could just as easily gain that Category 4 status back again as it continues towards the northwest. As we've been saying in live events, it's not the category that matters in this case, but it's the predicted effects on land, and they're expected to be very serious indeed. Keep watching this closely. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find our YouTube page. You're probably there already, but if not, subscribe if you haven't so far. You can also find our Facebook page, Force 13 All in Text, and it's at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us on there. You can also help the project become even better by enjoying the benefits of patronage. You can find out more information about how to become a patron and what those benefits are at patreon.com forward slash force 13. And you can tune into force 13's live feed at any time. It's now entering its fourth day of service. YouTube.com forward slash force 13 forward slash live for the latest. <laughs>